Okay, we're going to try solving a ratio problem using two tape diagrams this time. During this example, things get a little complex, so be sure you have a piece of paper handy to take notes and to follow along. Be sure you write down any questions you have, bring them to class tomorrow, and watch this a couple of times to make sure you get it. Here's another example of solving a problem by finding equivalent ratios. We're going to use the tape diagram method to solve this problem, but it's a little complex, so let's take a look at what information we have to begin with. I'm going to start by reading this through. Listen carefully. Maybe take some notes. The Business Direct Hotel caters to people who travel for different types of business trips. When a company caters to something, that means that that's who they serve. On Saturday night, there is not a lot of business travel. So the ratio of the number of occupied rooms to the number of unoccupied rooms is 2 to 5. Business people have work during the week, Monday through Friday, so they're not going to stay at the hotel. Occupied means there's somebody in the room. Unoccupied means there's nobody in the room. However, on Sunday night, the ratio of the number of occupied rooms to the number of unoccupied rooms is 6 to 1. This is due to the number of business people attending a large conference in the area. So they're going to go to the conference on Monday, so they're staying over Sunday night. If the Business Direct Hotel has 432 occupied rooms on Sunday night, how many unoccupied rooms does it have on Saturday night? Now this question is asking us about things that don't seem related at first. Let's start by thinking about a hotel. Does the total number of rooms that a hotel has change at all? Not usually from night to night. If they have 15 rooms on one night, they're going to have a total of 15 rooms on the next night. They're not going to build new rooms or close rooms. So if we take a look at the information here, we know a few things. We know on Saturday, on Saturday night, the ratio of the number of occupied rooms to the number of unoccupied rooms is 2 to 5. So on Saturday, our ratio is 2 to 5. Occupied to unoccupied. On Sunday, it's a little different. On Sunday, the ratio of occupied to unoccupied is 6 to 1. So on Sunday, our ratio is 6 to 1. Occupied, unoccupied. Okay. Notice our total for both of these is 7. Doesn't matter what day we're looking at, the total is 7. The other piece of information that this problem gives us that the Business Direct Hotel has a total of 432 occupied rooms on Sunday night. So on Sunday, we have 432 occupied rooms. Now that we have all of this information, we can build a couple of tape diagrams that are related. Here are two different tape diagrams, one for Saturday and one for Sunday. You can see that I've labeled them occupied and unoccupied for Saturday, two to five, two boxes and five boxes. On Sunday, occupied to unoccupied, six boxes and one box to represent this ratio, six to one. Now I'm going to take this last piece of information I have in the problem that tells me that on Sunday, the Business Direct Hotel has 432 occupied rooms. So this one is Sunday and equals 432 occupied rooms. If I want to know how many rooms each square represents, then I need to take 432, 432 divided by 6, and that's going to give me 72. Each square represents 72. 
Each of these squares represents 72, and this square down here represents 72 also. So I know that there were 432 occupied rooms, 72 unoccupied rooms, so the total number of rooms is going to be 432 plus 72, or 7 times 72, and that's going to be 504. So if the hotel has 504 available rooms on Sunday, that means on Saturday the total is still going to be 504 available rooms. It's not going to change from one night to the next. I still have seven squares. I had seven squares here. That means each square is still going to represent 72. I can also look at it as 504 divided by 7 is going to be 72. Now I can find out how many unoccupied rooms the hotel has on Saturday night. That's the question I want to answer. How many unoccupied rooms does it have on Saturday night? Here's Saturday. Here's the number of unoccupied rooms. There are five squares. So this is 5 times 72, 360. So there were 360 unoccupied rooms on Saturday night. Well, now that we've solved this problem, we want to think about the steps we took. First, we read the problem very carefully. We wanted to make sure we had all the information out of it. We labeled everything, we made sure it was accurate, and we could understand what it meant. Then we took that information and turned it into two tape diagrams that were related to each other. They both had the same total number of squares because the hotel didn't change its number of rooms at all. After that, we took the information and solved for one piece at a time. This is probably the most complex tape diagram we'll do this year, but it's pretty easy once you get a chance to practice a bunch. Make sure you watch this video again, take a look at what's going on, and note down any questions you still have. We're going to practice some more tomorrow, and if you want to read those exercises ahead of time, you can. See you tomorrow.